Mr. Leon, I've been here a long time. How old are you? I'm 22. Did you ever hear the expression, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me? Keep it right there. Got it? I know that that's upsetting for you to see. You want some time? Do you need some time? No, I'm fine, but can I just say something? Um, if he, I'm not, you know, she has I know proof, you know, so. I know you know. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna be honest, me and him, we did have a conversation probably mid this year, and we were thinking about everything because we were planning on moving away from state. So we were trying to make everything right. We contacted her friend who was present when the assault happened. We contacted him to say we were sorry. You know, we're over everything. You know, we were just trying to make things right before we leave. So if he did send these text messages, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong, but him saying yeah, he wants to Yeah, but he didn't tell peace. you about it. I mean, I go through his phone, so I mean, yeah, he yeah, messed he up for not he, telling me, but I mean, at right. least it's he, not he didn't news or anything, you know? You can make excuses to yourself for making it okay because that's what you would like to do but if he was being honest with you as a partner he would say you know what we're planning on moving out of state i really want to try to leave everything as you said everything in reasonable order i want to say sorry i want to do whatever and i'm going to contact miss hernandez and just tell her that so how do you feel about that if he was your partner if he was a cheat that's what he would do. And he'd do it and then delete it from his phone. Because if you say you check his phone, do you understand? Okay. As long as you understand. Now, this second altercation, because you had one altercation back in September, where it was like a real show. Everybody's car got damaged, their house got damaged, the police were involved. Okay, so that's the first time. This incident happened on February the 19th, 2017. At what time? 10 p.m. Where do you work? Um, I'm a retail store manager for a clothing store. You don't work in the same area that she does? Not at no, all. No, she works in a, a mall? Uh, at the time, that was the mall where I was working at in Yes. Richmond. When you were dating Mr. Galvin, did you work at the same store? Yes, Your Honor. So let me tell you this. So now the boyfriend knows where she works. Don't shake your head. When they were dating, she was working at the same place. So Galvin knew where she worked, which means you knew where she worked. So if I had had a major altercation with somebody a year before, I would not go to that mall. I would travel an extra 10 minutes to go to a different mall. And I especially wouldn't go to that mall, Mr. Leon, at about the time that it closes when she's getting off from work. You understand my drift? Perfect. So you and Prince Charming are shopping at the mall. What did you buy? We went to Zoomies to go exchange some shoes for his brother for a different size. Was there an exchange using a credit card? It was cash, so. <laughs> so the answer is you didn't buy anything. Is that what you're telling me? You know, you're smart. I mean, you've got lousy taste in boyfriends, but you're a smart woman because you know exactly where I'm going. So the answer is you didn't buy anything. Is that correct? I mean, we paid a difference, but sure. Uh, is yeah, that correct. correct? You didn't buy anything that you can prove to me that you bought, right? Correct. Right. Now I got my players. See, first you have to get your players. You have to figure out who everybody is. You have to sucker them in. So now I'm going to listen to the story, and I'm going to know who my characters are. Your Honor, on February 19th of this year, I was getting off work. Um, the mall closed at 9 p.m., so that's how I know it was 9 when they were there. I was meeting up with my friends in the parking lot outside, right outside of Sears, where my car was parked. I was walking closer to my car, and then I saw Mom, Samuel and Rocio walking up to me, but it was just Rocio coming closer. She came close to me, and she said, so what's all that? you are talking about, you were talking about, Samuel told me, and I was, I said, what are you, what are you talking about? So it was, we were just going back and forth. For no, no, what did she say Samuel told her? He, she said that he told her that I was talking about her baby, that she mentioned that she lost. So that was her anger towards me. Okay, so she said to you that she, Samuel told her that you were saying unkind things about the baby she lost. Correct. He's an idiot. Do you understand? You want to hook your star to an idiot? Good for you! Put your hand down. I believe her. 